It is said that wars are only won upon the anvil of the honor. Others believe victory requires strategy and a mastery of power. War is deception. A game played best from the shadows. Only strength and raw power can assure total dominance. Welcome to episode episode 30 of Lord Ron the Xbox uh, in English. And uh, it's Scandinavian, and he's from Scandinavian, and uh, hail from uh, Faroe Islands, Scandinavian power. So, the title he's not really sure about, uh, he's really bad at making names, so you know, I'm gonna just watch through, and in the end, when I'm done, I'm most likely gonna have a name, but for now, I just need to watch a little bit to be sure uh, of what a name I will get. And let me see, is there anything more? It's about one hour and half, one hour, one and a half hour long replay. So I think this is a very good time because at the moment I'm stuck in the World of Warcraft queue. Yes, the World of Draenor is out and I'm playing a lot. I have been enjoying it so far, but it's been a lot of garrison problems. I can just tell you that with the facing and all that, it's been overloaded. So getting into garrison isn't always the easy thing. And my server is very populated. It's a high populated roleplay server. So. I'm, well, it's gonna take over an hour to get into queue now, so you know what, it's a good time to start doing the replay of this weekend. Last weekend I was busy with BlizzCon and school stuff, so I apologize for that. I watched BlizzCon and, well, it wasn't the best BlizzCon I've seen over the, over the years that I've watched, but, I mean, I watched the Heroes of the Storm panel, I watched the Diablo panel, and then etc. But, wasn't too uh, happy about what with what we watched, which we can go into later. So! Logosh Vryn, which is Dragon Ma. I just need to get comfy under my chair here, because it's gonna take some time. Uh, Aur Aurade, <laughs> what? Aur Aurade, I'm Aurade. I'm just gonna say trolls. Uh, yeah. TL Dreadlord. TL is a is a clan. If uh, Fistic Box you're watching, can you please tell me because it's you the same as the as the Alexander Morgan as the Silver Hand. We do have Kelthusand as. Uh, it's in the morning. Sorry. I'm really sorry. It's in the morning. I had to get up early. As the Cult of the Damned, we have Trump Friends as the Forsaken. Uh, we have your... M oh, your mama. I remember you. Where was you again from? I think you were from that replay with the trolls and everything. The, the four man at the Sunwell. I think that's where you were from. Oh my god. SG Warlock, we've seen you a couple of times as the dwarves. We do have Emperor Mist Da as Dalaran Remnants. Uh, we have the new terrain, which I've been playing a couple of times on the new version. It's very good, but there's some bugs, of course. Valimath as the Legion. And we do have. Em oh, another Emperor. Emperor Drismo as the Blood Elves. Hmm, Alright. Let's just get going, shall we? So, yeah, the new. the uh, Oh, yeah, there we go. Normal mode, fixed alliances. Normal mode has been selected. Oh, this is tricky. Oh my god, here's Sylvanas going immediately up here to, cl to clear this camp here, but then Kael'thas arrives, and even the Dreadlords here coming. A very fast move out from the Legion and Dreadlords. If Deathrock gets in range, he can put sleep on him. <coughs> it's not too late. Mm. Oh my god! Ships are even coming after. Oh my god! That's the first time I see a Forsaken player action. What? What are you doing? That shit. Oh my god. One note to uh, play who don't know. That ship is faster than any ship in the game. So he could have get away easily from those ships. And there goes the Sunwell. Now it is the essence to who? Who gets Varimothras? Oh my god. Daruan, you have started to move out already with um, Ronin. This new terrain is beautiful, I just gotta say you, it's very beautiful. I really like what they did. But there's one problem I have with it, we can just pause quickly. Marshmallow said she wanted to remove choke points. She just created one big here, <laughs> a really big one right here, which, oh my god, it's... I mean, it looks beautiful, don't get me wrong, it looks very nice, but... She got away from the purpose, I mean, it's not easy, okay? It's not easy. But I like it. It's very cool. It's very nice uh, to see some changes around. Scourge, yes, you are attacking uh, Menethil Harbor, which is very nice to see. Ke uh, Kel Thuzad, uh, 
has not moved out too much, and now we have the Alliance moving out of Turn's hand with Alexandros and everything. So Alexandros been moved over here instead of being at Marnhol Keep, which of course I do understand, but since it always gets destroyed in the beginning, oh Noth is on his way with the re with his rest. Oh, he's gonna gather up. Oh my, this is gonna be interesting. Uh, Horde, you have started an attack on the small mini base. We have Dragon Maw moving out and creeping everything. Trolls moving up, actually, leaving. Oh, you want to get Galen out of there because Galen has become so much stronger in this version. It's unbelievable. You don't want to lose that hero. He is very nice. Uh, we can take a look at the dwarves because uh, Fels at South, Bran up there, and Magni declaring the Frostmane retreat. Now, Blood Elves have a really hard, tough time now because they lost the essence, the but I can still go and get Silver Moon, get the crown. Oh my god! Okay, I haven't seen this yet. For some reason, I have not seen this. This is gigantic! Just imagine the epic battles we're gonna see! Oh, I'm getting a orgasm right away here. Holy shit! Let me see. Um, so there's a bigger place to land here. Uh, there's a little bit bigger place to land here. Uh, well, I guess it's most likely the same, but it's more place to build production buildings, which is kind of cool, but it's easier to hold, perhaps. Yeah, of course, Legion getting the farm on those small Blood Oven forces there. Forsaken is on the move here. Uh, has Dalaran returned? Town is no, not yet. And oh, it's gonna take maybe not get in time because wait, no. Forsaken has to go and clear this to get the spectre, which should be enough time for Dalaran to get up to Karen Tor in time. Hopefully, if he's fast enough, then it should be enough. Oh. So Dragon Maw is. Well, they can also get a new demi hero. I forgot that. There isn't everything I've seen in this version yet. Le like, for example, the Guardians of Tears Fall. Some people say they're bad, some people say they're very good. And um, I can't give an opinion on myself yet because I haven't seen them yet. So it seems that Alliance is having a bit of trouble. They're, blockade, they're towering up to his hand now uh, from a cult attack, which seems to be doing fine on his own. He's even getting Arthur's up here now to help. And Manifold still stands, which worries me a little bit. That should just be dealt with immediately. Oh! Blue is gone. I didn't realize that. So he's controlling Blue. He's controlling Blue's Death Knight squad as well. Does that... Uh, well, yeah, I see that in the Reaper now, because I have the text open in my other screen here. I'm cold and I control Scourge. Okay. Uh, no one wants... Uh, I'm just reading a little bit, just to be 100% uh, up to date here. Oh my god, so we have the Legion here attacking the small Dalaran forces that are here, which of course isn't many, and they, they just ignored Spellexer to go immediately for the rush here. Which works very well. I mean, Dalaran was not prepared for an attack like this, of this size already. Because he wasn't he uh, here. So I guess he's maybe just gonna give up on. He hasn't even get gotten Gilneas, which, you know, he can't teleport down and get that. Which means the ga Grey Mane's hammer, or whatever it's called, it's called the Grey Wolf, is gonna get in the hands of the Legion or Forsaken, most likely then. Um, okay. Horde. Far center, but oh! So the two titans are about to clash. Morgor, very oh my god, on the front line there. He's gonna get targeted down so easily there. So many forces behind here is not even being used, and he's gonna get squashed. Catapults, the the uh, oh god, the earth ring, ring elementals, Gorns on the front line taking a beating. But you know, I think Morgor is having a worse time. No, he's actually just having a worse time. But all thanks to all, he doesn't have barely enough catapult to deal with that rage that the Horde is uh, doing at the moment to him. He even has, of course, the heal from Drekthar, which is very useful. I don't see uh, that he has much heal. I can't see the as Ascendance. Well, I see one there and then one behind there, but Mongo, ooh, gonna go down. He's, he's not escaping with that, because he is... No. That's a clear victory for Horde in south right there. He lost everything there. But Morgo is actually getting away. But the forces, like, it's so much stronger. And what did Fisting Books do? So he's trying to do a siege, which is very hard because of, well, the tower up uh, getting. But he has the catapults from Blue as well, which is going to help him in the long run. Um, 
Okay, so Horde is, you know, no, Horde? What am I saying? Dwarfs is clearing out. Oh! Oh, he, he wants to get this new base because he lost South and he says he will join. Oh, and then he leaves. Nice. That's a very nice Tilly to play, okay? I will join you. Please don't destroy my only base left. Very nice of him. Uh, taking Silver Moon. Well, it's a little bit shame that he can't get the sun well. But that's how it is. So Sylvanas is moving, not moving into Gilneas. What is, what is this? And not even the Spellector. You get extra gold from the Spellector and you get extra gold from Gilneas. You get XP. What is this player doing? I don't know. It's, it's a strange world, isn't it? So the trolls are, you know, taking Stormguard and taking the areas around here and for quoth alas for victory and then we have the Yeah that that came. Um they have the Silver Moon right now, but what is this gonna help them? <laughs> it's an extra base, but they need to do a choice if they wanna join Legion, if they or they wanna go with Ladari, which is actually a little bit fun now. Mm. Because you get this new base in Sangha Marsh, which looks very beautiful. I have to tell you that. Looks very beautiful. And, like, you have to cross with boats to get over there. It's very nice base to hold. I'm just saying. So, Horde now controls south. They will eventually move on to attack the dwarfs. Which is going to be interesting to see how that will turn out. So, Dalaran is using ships? Is he a little bit new? He might be a little bit new. So Scourge is now in a fight against uh, uh, against the Tears Hand here. Well, there seems to be forced to flee. The towers were not enough, and there's a small ranged force coming from behind. Even with Gale and Trollbane here attacking the Scourge from behind, but it doesn't seem it's going to go too well for Gale in here. He might die. Yeah, he's dead. Or not? Oh my! Are you serious with me? He survived. He's not. He he needs to get away quick if he wants to survive. Alexandros has fallen. Was that a ship? Oh no. Scourge is not out of the trouble yet. There we go. Yeah, Ronald spawned a big force. Not big force, but the Scarlet Knight is gonna keep spawning and not. Oh, there's a Necromancer. Oh, he used unholy frenzy on him. Oh, wait, yeah. So, so he may. So he's gonna lose health. That's very nice. <laughs> Oh god. And then we have, yeah, Tirsan getting aimed down by the catapults. Obviously, this has been this is lost. He's not gonna win this fight. He should give the crown to Kelthusad because, you know. Yeah. Reasons. So Galen is gonna flee up to the elves. Oh, and I think he sees that he's gonna is he gonna heal him? No, he's just running past him. What is this? So Dalaran is taking Barrett in hold. Interesting. I'm not sure what's going on anymore, to be honest. Kelsar level 6, North level 5. Falstad. Oh god, that's a big army the dwarves have that is going to fight against. Oh, they got the Earthrun in time before Bran died. That is very nice. So now they're going to have a more chance against the Horde. Which is going to be a big threat, if I might say so. So is he f researching? Oh god. Yeah, he's having, he does have enough time to research that. And you are in the Twisting Nether having a chill day. You're just relaxing. You're not worried about anything at all. Dreadlord Mastery, here you go. Uh, okay, Emperor Miss Valimath. Wait, uh, I guess we can go to Logosh. Oh, oh my, oh god. That's gonna be trouble. If Morgo dies right before that. Nah, he's fine. And he has boats to escape. There we go. He got Sulu head. Oh, that was a very wrong place to get that. So he's allied now with the Legion. And who's controlling the Echo Dome? Yeah, it's the Legion himself. No one has taken Tempest Keep yet. And at the moment, I'm really unsure if Kel'Thas will... Oh, God. Heal him up, for fuck's sake. <laughs> Sorry. But heal him up. You have the power. Poor Galen. He's going to die to any critter that attacks that guy now. Oh. Oh, who's controlling? Oh, it's the Dalaran who controls, controls him now. That's true. So Horde is going to go in a fight against Area Peak, which, you know, he's left it to, to die. No, nothing to worry about that. Go on level 5, 6 Chieftain, and 5 Earthrun. Huh? Not bad. Uh, did he teleport? I didn't see. 
uh, if he, no, I heard a dreadlord die. He didn't teleport to extra dreadlord. He could get out of that. So Sylvanas did eventually go and get Gilnades, which is very nice. The extra gold is nice and, you know, is a control point there. And Spellector is not taken yet. Which actually is very weird to see. Like, this, the Spellector is not even touched yet. And we are 12 minutes into the game, so this is weird. So uh, Shore is going to go down and he's going to get Terran Mill. Uh, do, 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 do. Where are you? Who? I'm, I was thinking about Our someone. You. You left. So now he. So so they control it now. This tactic I've actually done it a couple of times myself. Go and take Baron and hold and make a base there, and then I attack Lordaeron. I. That's just what I do when I lose as Dragonmar. It's a simple strategy. If, uh, let's say this base is gone. But in this case, it's not, so he could go gone Outland, but he's no escape then. Speaking of Outland, do, does Felsen have the I've Dollar one still? Yes, he does. Oh! Dwarfs are about to engage in a fight with the Horde. This could get tricky. What are your upgrades, actually? You have 1-1 one, one upgrades on that, and 1-1. One, one. Wait, wait, the ra uh, ranged upgrades. Uh, that was wrong. Where's the Dwarf and Rifleman? 1-1. One, one. Every, everything has a 1-1. One, one. And you, my good sir, you have master on that. And 1-1, one, one, you got a dreadlord on the way to Strathol. Uh, master Our on the warlock as well. Seat. He's going very heavy caster. And 2-2 two, two on the melee, okay. Uh, a, a dreadlord on its way to Strathol? Is it death rock? They're teleporting. Why? I wonder why. So... Are they gonna go... Wait, thanks? I guess Legion was attacking. Oh, I got Alexandros now in his Death Knight squad. He, I'm I'm not sure if he has his Death Knights. Uh, that. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Was that a private chat? Oh. So they have a little sneaky, sneaky talk. Yeah, they're a little bit Our both against the Legion by looks of it. Oh, and here we have the Blood Elves against the Scourge on the line. Here we have the Ballistas. We do have Kothas very far on the front line, which could be scary, but you know, the Flame Track is going to get perfectly placed around, you know, Frost Nova from the Celtic. He's very powerful now, and not with the healing from the front line, the back line of units, and the Catapult. There's so many Catapults, including Blues. Oh, the Ebon Blade Knight and Arthas. Oh, this is just going to get so strong. Dude, like this, you see the frontliner of the brothers are just getting completely decimated, and the Ballistas are doing a good dead work, but the fallen are just getting resurrected as undead warriors and just gonna kill them. So he needs to flee, and he's kind of stuck now. I see he's gonna lose the crown of Prothalas most likely to the scourge. Yes, he is gonna do that, and he's a. S oh, that's whoa! What are you doing? That's a peasant, that's a Cinefloy. Where are you on your way to? So, Scourge is doing very nice at the moment. They're very powerful and strong. Oh! So, he's gonna join them as Bretch? Oh! Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh no! He's gonna go for the Scourge now he wants the book. He has the essence, now he just needs the book, which is the perfect one. Either he's gonna make a tons of portals to overwhelm his enemy, but he doesn't have the gold for that. Or he's actually gonna attack with Erda Sorceress. Which it seems like he's gonna do. They really do a lot of damage when they're in that number, and then they have very Marthas and the Drillers in that choke point right there. Flame Strike, Carrion Swarm, gonna be so powerful. Get Arthas out of there, that's so. Uh, he's gonna. If he loses that crown, you're gonna be so sorry about that. I can promise you that. Ah, I didn't see that fight, but it seems yellow is on the run. Sorry, I was a bit focused here. Acros is moving up here now. Oh god. Necros. I haven't been been paying attention too much to the others. Let's slow down a little bit. Uh, I didn't see where Necros was, but you are in Dalaran dungeons. You know, just trying to farm a little bit here. You are having a bad time, and he's going to join the Scourge. You were attempting to attack Maligos, the Spellweaver, but failed at that. Uh, yeah. You only have Satan left, and you're going to Northrend by the looks of it. You have that. Yes, you do have that. Um, Fistic Box. No. Uh, 
You are... Oh god, you're getting really close on Colt right now. Uh, ST Warlock is south at wrong place. He cannot get back now. Uh, god damn it, there's some moment, someone I missed on, isn't it? Trolls. Well, you haven't done too much yet. Now, I'm a little bit curious about that fight there, but I'm just gonna have it on here now because... Oh no, Arth is on the front line. If he goes down, that crown is gonna belong to the Legion, which you don't wanna happen. And this, let's just uh, face it. Scourge forces are really thinned out now by that check choke point. But there's more here. Send them to attack. Send them. You do want, you need those extra forces. Luckily, Arthur seems to be doing fine, and Kelton's are just getting stronger and stronger. He's not even getting hit by the Karen Swarm, which is very nice because if he gets low health, he's gonna get aimed down by the Legion, which is very normal. And here we have them in a fight the Dwarves and the Horde. The, the Horde has mu very much the casters, very much, ca very many casters compared to what Yellow have, and not as many ranged. He should have had more ranged if he wanted to fight them. I think we can say that this is a lost cause for Yellow. He might actually go down here with his forces. Spirit Lake going out. And the Clan Brute, not, not all Clan, Clan Brute has really made it to the front line, but you know. They're working on it. They don't they have all the time in the world. Magni is level 4, and the only escape I see he has now is to go around here and confuse the hold while they chase, uh, go down here and then get up again. Because at the moment he's stuck, Felstead can still, of course, get away easily. Oh wait, he can go into Flying Machine. Oh, and he even has this small front line as the Earthrend left behind. What is this? This could have gone a little bit better if he had Earthrend on with him. Yeah, this is a win for the for the Horde. And Scourge is pushing out. Mana Shield coming out from the area of They were actually quite powerful in this fight right here. Uh, Kel'Thuzad is, oh, very vulnerable at the moment. This, yeah, we see the Legion is getting closer and closer. They want that spell book. But they think, I think they want to try and go for Arthas. Magni died. Um, go for Arthas first. Well, of course, the Death Coach is going to bring him up again. He's doing a very nice job to be alone. I gotta say. He's doing a very nice. And here goes the Legion for the aim on Kel'Thuzad. They're trying. Oh, God. He's not going to get past because of the catapults. Luckily, by standing here, he cannot get attacked by all of them at the same time I guess but you know oh no death calls coming up very nicely yeah here comes more reinforcement but you have more reinforcement here already it seems that he's gonna actually flee like Legion has to actually flee hmm. this is actually interesting um, you're setting a north one okay uh, Velimath that's you <laughs> Logos Rin not doing too much at the moment. You have been, you have a setback, and you are getting very much close to cult of them and the scourge. So the, thanks to the catapults, the meat wagons and all that, and of course the is it unarmored? Yes, the unarmored is gonna you know be destroyed quite easily. And of course, wait, how much money are you sitting at actually? Five hundred five. That's actually a lot of money. Use these forces, please. <laughs> oh, let me see. Um, I was gonna look at someone. You. You're just waiting for your faith now to become wretched, right? I assume that. So, 18 minutes into the game now. And we are now. It's, it's been interesting so far. It's been interesting to see how this goes. But the Legion seems to be giving up on attack they lost, and now they're about to face Forsaken. In a fight here, which could be interesting to see how that's going to turn out now. They do have 1-2 against Sirusu, but they have a lot of better casters. So Trolls have a big force, but they're not moved out with that big force to do much. So Horde won that fight, against the major fight against Dwarves. Uh, oh shit, I was talking on my phone. Wait, what have he's been doing then? Uh, which means Dwarves is going to have a hard time. Very hard time here. Oh, Felset also went down. Oh, I didn't see that. I hate when that, that those texts doesn't appear up for me anymore. Oh well, um, just better than anything. So, what would be the wise thing if a skirt takes Sul the, what is Suleiman and as a base and sell there? Because then you don't need to be worried about attacking from behind as a base. Oh no! Why are you attacking Blood Elves? Yeah, they're not attacking each. They're attacking each other. Wait, what is Scarlet doing? 
Oh, he's attacking his last base. Oh my god, are you serious with me? He is doing it. Oh. <laughs> Actually, let's activate this. Oh me, oh me, no. Okay, that was a weird response. I am gonna accept that. You got Gruul now and is attacking Moor. <laughs> oh god, Gruul the Dragon Slayer. Amazing, amazing. I think we're gonna end part one here as we're about to see a major conflict between Forsaken and Scourge. I think that at least. So, thanks for watching. Until next time, guys. Bye bye.